Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today. I have two small hauls to share with you, one from Amazon and one from a cherry on top. So let's get started. Before we get started with the items that I got from a cherry on top, I just want to say that they included some freebies and I was so excited about them. Look at these adorable pins. One says, I love ACOT, which is a cherry on top. And the other says, crafters gonna craft. I love these. So see, they're just regular little pins. How awesome is that? If you have a crafter's apron, these would be awesome to go on that. Okay, anyways, those were included, which I thought was fun. And uh, the main reason why I even bought anything, I think it was their President's Day free shipping on anything sale that they were having. And so I've always wanted one of these alcohol ink air blowers and... This is from Ranger, so I decided to get it. It was actually on sale as well, so that made it a even better purchase. So I picked that up, and then I also picked up this Glue Dots Glue Tape Permanent Adhesive Roller. This is 3 8 inch by 39 feet, which is a lot. And I've used it already. And it's pretty neat. Let me show you. It comes out very easy. It does seem to uh, get attached though when you want to take it up. So maybe I'm not doing that part right. But look at this. It is a solid 3 8 inch adhesive tape. I thought it might be the little dots, but it's not. So I hope that you can see that. It does stick really well. I mean, you can hear it there even with my finger. So, so far, I'm liking that. So, those were the two items that I picked up from A Cherry on Top. From Amazon, I picked up these little letter trays. hope that you can see them. They're really quite large. Um, but this will hold a full ream of paper. So, I had some cardstock paper that I picked up, and I wanted to um, keep them really nice and flat because I noticed where I currently had them, they were getting kind of warped from the heat. So I thought it would be good to put them in a tray. And what I liked about these is that they have these little slots so that they can be stackable. So then they just sit on each other like that. Very easy. They had some other colored ones. Uh, this is Amazon Basics, which I didn't even know that was a thing, but I really loved the gray with the white. I don't know, just made it look nice. They had an all white one, which I was almost gonna get, but didn't, and I think they even had a pink one. So if you want all pink letter trays, they have them. <laughs> so anyways, I picked these up a really reasonable price for the two. I think it might've been $13, something like that but really great to store your um, cardstock in. My next purchase from Amazon was these hockey pucks and disc. And you may wonder, why would I buy that? Well, I'll tell you why. It's for stamping. So if you have your stamp platform, you add your stamp on there, let's just say as an example, we usually press down onto the stamp and you know it takes a lot of pressure, it's uncomfortable. What we can do now is use these hockey pucks and rub it like this, and it does the job for us. The angle is better, and you have a nice area to hold onto, and you get these little green felt um, disc to go on the bottom of the pucks. This is what it looks like when you get them, and then you remove the adhesive backing, and then just plop that on the back side and rub, and you are ready to go. <laughs> Very easy. So that is the reason why I bought them, to help with stamping and impression. And I think it will be a lot easier on my body. And I know that they make some in the crafting world, and quite frankly, they look the same. They might be a little bit smaller. There are varying sizes that you can get in these kind of hockey pucks, as well as the uh, crafter ones. So I think this was three inch wide. Let me measure here. 
Oh, actually it is three and three fourths inches wide. So I chose the one that was larger so that I would just have a larger field of pressure. So when I'm using large or small or even medium stamps that I would still be able to get to the full surface without any problem. And actually having a larger surface like this and a smaller stamp, it will just take less effort, which is great. So I was really excited about these. I demonstrate them in a video that I have coming up about uh, using stamps with your brother's scan and cut. So you'll probably see that demonstration then if you follow me. And if you don't, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out. So these were a reasonable item as well to purchase. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all four. I thought about doing a giveaway. Uh, maybe sometime in the future and giving some away. One did come a little dingy, but other than that, they are perfectly fine. You know, this is a plastic material, but the uh, knob here or whatever you want to call this is large enough and has a nice, um, you know, nice, it's long enough to get your hand around to get a good grip on it, which is really good. The red disc, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but you never know, they might come in handy sometime in the future. I thought this was a great way to do this. Um, I've been thinking about buying one of the crafting ones and as I researched it and everything, you know, I was found that these can work just as good as paying more for the crafty ones. So what I paid here, I got four for the price of one that is made in the crafting world. So just to let you know, <laughs> this is a much better deal. I also picked up this over the door shoe holder to hold all of my punches. And it has 24 slots for all of my punches, which is really nice. My last one broke up here at the top. It ripped. And then when I went to put it back up, then the whole thing ripped. But I noticed here, these actually have like another cardboard inside there to make it sturdier. So there's three individual cardboard pieces. So that's nice. So before I got this video out to you, I actually purchased more items from Amazon as well as Joann's. And I thought I would just combine this all together for one video. So we're going to start with Joann's and they had a sell on the Distress Oxide inks and I went a little crazy. So I picked up the Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide. These are all Distress Oxide. These were like $4 and maybe 17 cents, 19 cents, something like that, um, but excellent price. And I was able to have them delivered um, for like $1.99 or something. I don't know. It was really great. So I have the Rustic Wilderness. I picked up Spun Sugar, Chipped Sapphire, Festive Berries, Scattered Straw, and Crackling Campfire. Now... I know some of these are older, but I just, you know, I haven't been able to pick them up. So it's such a great price. I went ahead and got all of them. And I think I'm going to kind of flip flop here just a moment um, because from Amazon, they had the new saltwater taffy in a duo pack for like $14. And I thought, well, that seems okay. I won't have to pay shipping from anywhere else. So actually, it's, you know, the price was just fine um, considering it was a new product that just came out. So I got the Distress Oxide and the Distress Ink. So I'm really liking that I have both of those because sometimes I like the ink better than the oxide and sometimes I like oxide better than the ink. So I just love having that. So I have all of those new inks and then I bought this from Joann's as well, these little round um, pads to go with the ink pads the mini ink blending foams there's 20 in this pack i still have a couple of these daubers so i might as well just use them and just pick this up it did get smushed in shipping but it's fine 
So I have all of those. Now, if we stay with the stamping for a moment, I'm gonna put these aside. I purchased some new brushes from Amazon. This was a six pack of brushes. I love that they come with their own container to hold them. Easy in and out, it kind of locks in. You can hear it just a little bit. And we have the little brush here. It is about one and seven eighths inches wide here. Let me tell you, this is so super soft. Oh my gosh, so soft. And the hairs, if you wanna call them that, are very, very uh, close together. It's really packed in there. It's not loosey-goosey or anything. <laughs> um, it just feels so good. So I'm really excited that these are colored because then I can kind of match these up with my with my distress oxides or whatever i have uh, we could even put this one here if we wanted if we had two pinks like the festive berries we could do um here with the pink one and then if i had a purple ink pad i could put that here so then i could use those colors that are in this color family with this brush they also had these in black which is what I started to get but then I thought well why not get these because then I can match them with the color family and then there'll be no confusion which one to pull so I love that whole idea that now I will have you know a color blender <laughs> I guess, for each of the colors now um, these were like I think they were 30 some dollars. I'll have the information here on the screen for you in the link down below in the description box. But I do believe that it was worth it. I'm going to um, see how well they work. And if they work really good, I'm going to go back and get uh, the black set for colors like the grays, the blacks, the reds that don't have a um, color brush. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. You guys, these are so, so soft, unbelievable. Really like that a lot. Another thing I picked up from Amazon were these photo flip pockets with the adhesive strip on them. I've been using them in a lot of projects. I thought I might as well go ahead and grab them. They seem to be a really good price and it was the only place I could actually find them. So these are from Simple Stories, the Snap Studio. Love these, I've been putting them in a lot of projects. So great price for those. And then the next thing I did was bought some embossing folders. I went a little crazy with the Tim Holtz embossing folders. Some are old, some might be new. The first one I have to share with you is the 3D Impresslets. And this one is called Floral Frame. On the back here, you can see a good photo of it. And I did make an impression of everything so that I could show you today. So when we open this up, I use some gold foil paper. So this is just, you know, popping right out of here. And the center comes out as well. That's nice. And there is our floral frame. So pretty, very pretty. I wanted to use this with the wedding paper that I got from Country Craft Creation. Thought that would be perfect for that. So the way that I did all of my um, embossing folders that are 3D, I think I have one here that's not 3D. I sprayed using the Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer, uh, some water on my paper, and then I ran it through three times Tim Holtz recommends if it's 3D, you run it through three passes. So that's what I did, and then that was the impression. The next one I have to share, I picked up because it was so extremely cheap. It was like $3.84 or something. And I've had my eye on this one for a while. I really love the print. It's called Lace. 
just love that. So this is an older one, a texture fade embossing folder. This is not 3D. And here is an example of what it looks like. Really pretty. Now I was hoping that I could take this impression and kind of cut it at an angle, but I just didn't really like the way that it looked. So then of course, Tim Holtz comes out with the 3D texture fade and it is the doily and it's the corner piece. So it kind of solved the issue I was having with this one. I mean, yes, I could probably use that, but it just wasn't what I was looking for. But as a whole, I love this. It's so pretty, love the lace and a really great price on Amazon. So all of these embossing folders I'm showing you, I got on Amazon, they were either cheaper or they were a regular good price when you consider you don't have to pay for shipping. So we cannot disregard Amazon in some cases of craft supplies. I know usually they're higher. So this is the new um, doily embossing folder that he came out with. I ran this through so I could show you as well. This is on craft paper. Look how pretty. Here's the other side. Ugh, look at this. Gorgeous. Love that so much. Both sides are beautiful. All depends on the project you're working on. This one gives you more of the fabric feel. The next two I picked up are older. This is the 3D Texture Fade um, Lumber Embossing Folder. I think this is an older one. Yeah, 2018. And then I ran this through with some brown cardstock. And here's that. Love this. Love how it gives you this darker color. And I didn't even do anything to it, but run it through the machine. That's the backside. But look, it just made it look darker in those lines. So pretty. Love that. I'm always wanting wood and I don't, I didn't have a wood embossing folder. So I'm really glad I have that now. And then the last one I picked up is the 3D Texture Fade Brickwork embossing folder. And this one I ran through. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Totally looks like brick. I mean, I've seen this one for a while and I loved it, but when you're looking at it in hand, you can see all the little details that make it really look like brick. Love that. Fun. This is going to be fun. So that is everything else that I picked up. I will have all the links down below that are available. And I thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.